Welcome back to the show, everyone. A uh, new restaurant has gone under uh, some slight changes and some wonderful changes as well. Yes, and we have the two people that are behind it. Harry Campbell is joined by his mom, Georgia, to talk <laughs> hey about what's new at new. How are you? Nice Great. to see you both. Thanks for having us. So what is new at new? New is a Greek restaurant now. We're uh, a modern Greek really refining the flavors and the taste, expanding on the what, what we know as traditional Greek. And, and proper Greek food has been very underrepresented in Vancouver has, for some yeah. reason. Yeah, well, the, people have been telling us for quite a while, open a Greek restaurant, open a Greek restaurant. And I don't know why I've, I've been ignoring it or moving, I've had my Is own it? agenda. <laughs> and my mother's been saying, open a Greek restaurant, <laughs> open a Greek restaurant. I got your wish, so, Mama. <laughs> well, every, every uh, year we have a big event over at uh, Christmas, uh, Easter time. Easter, you know? yeah. yeah. And, uh, it was uh, big giant roast huge, lambs huge. on the spit. We have two ro uh, roasting lambs on the spit and uh, all kinds of uh, food, yeah. Greek food. So every year I said to her, don't you think we should start the Greek Right restaurant? after the party. <laughs> and every, like day yeah. later. I was going to say, maybe if she had asked you before the party, <laughs> she might have got a different answer. So of finally, I think, uh, you know, he decided yeah. to uh, obey his mom. So, uh, well, Georgia, tell us a little bit about how all this came together and, and how you guys worked on, on the menu and everything. Well, we were working about three months trying to uh, put uh, the menu together. Yeah. And uh, I would go there every day to teach them the basic. The what basic. is it like having your mom every day at the restaurant? It's She's right there. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It was so awesome. Fun. So the funny thing is I would go in, I would teach them, and then uh, I would go the next day, and then things would be different. Things would be, well, <laughs> well, but I'm, this yeah. is this idea of yeah. modernity, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, taking the cuisine and sort of bumping it up to the levels that people are used to in, in all your restaurants. It's true. Just taking one or two steps above every single, with every change and every development. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're making a couple different things. What are we uh, doing? Am I doing it right? Okay. Am I this is, for, this is perfect. Okay. She's cutting some bell peppers, and I, I do a bit of a deconstructed Greek salad. So, first, I take some olive olive paste. Isn't it? De isn't that you know? Well, are you yeah. deconstructed? Isn't the well, salad itself? Are you itself constructing it? <laughs> well, but I say I say it that way because it's the same everywhere. You go to any Greek Absolutely. restaurant in Vancouver, and you will get a bowl with with chopped cucumbers and onions. Usually too much onions. And too, always too yeah. much always, onions. Always just filler. I, yeah. And so I I'm just want to simplify it a bit and and clean up some of the flavors and present it a bit differently. Okay. So, nice. And so I'll just put some olive paste mm -hmm. down. And also, some people don't like olives, so if they don't have to eat the olives, then the uh, paste really balances. Oh, These are perfect, you know, by the, the way. Whoops. The oh, but salad. I only got two green ones. It's a nice little accent <laughs> yeah. instead that's of okay. Yeah. That's okay. I because uh, that's I know uh, many times you see the plate empty, but the olives there. Yeah, yeah. It's true. <laughs> so, people, yeah, people so don't this like way, this way, you get the flavor, but you don't have the strong flavor when you yeah. bite into it. So, George, I mean, as, as someone, obviously, for both of you, though, but, you know, this is part of your heritage. This is Definitely. this is part of the taste of, you know, your childhood. and, and Exactly, and also uh, his uh, childhood. But how, how has right. it been to sort of see it taken and, and change a it's little bit It's very exciting, well? Every, very exciting, because we're getting a lot of compliments, you yeah. know, a lot of people, you know, enjoy the the new look and the new taste. In a way, it's a new taste because we combine different things, yeah. you know, uh, together. Even though they're, it's a Greek cuisine, a little uh, bit of a modern twist. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and that's what must be part of the pleasure for you as well, yes, is, is yes. seeing how it's sort of changing and being part of that that's change right. and that evolution as and well. And also my son is pushing me to be more visible. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you enjoying that, Andrew? What else have you put <laughs> in the salad Okay, so I, I cut the cucumbers in... Uh, more like sticks. Yes. Yeah. And we cut the red peppers and the peppers in, in um, slices yeah. as opposed to dicing them all out. A little bit of salt and pepper in there, some feta cheese, some olives, and then I like to mix it all up a little bit before I put it on the plate so that you get some flavor on all the And you got olive oil and parts. oregano yeah. in olive there as well? Oil, How oregano. important is olive oil for you guys? Oh, <laughs> it's a, olive oil is a beautiful thing. It's, it is a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 And then, so now to me, it's just presenting it in, in a way that's it's kind uh, of a novel fun a way. way. And what are we doing with this panacopita yeah. here? This, you, it's your turn. It's my turn. Yes. What do I do? You take the uh, tzatziki. And I do a little, do I do what yeah, Harry exactly did? Yeah, exactly what he did. Okay. You like, try. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Picasso. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait here we go. Yeah, I'm put it there, you. and then. Spread it. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I suck. That's okay. It's That's okay. okay. And then you put uh, some. Just uh, wherever. Yeah, right? Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just. Yeah! 
Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> How am I doing so well? That's great. Maybe, maybe another one. Your mom would have sent this back already, wouldn't she? <laughs> she said yeah, it, it's good, but maybe do it different. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Okay. Yeah. Put three or okay. four or five. Uh, yeah. I yeah, like we've got, like, is. We've got like this panna cotta here today, uh, Georgia. Oh, and we've got the Greek salad, but what are some of the other things that people will find on the menu? Oh my God, we've got um, lamb. roast lamb, of course. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, uh, shank, mm -hmm. lamb shank. Uh, Do you have a favorite? Is and, there something? And that there is the my my favorite is the three cheese souffle. Yummy. Which is uh, three different types of uh, Greek cheese. Uh, I won't say them because they're too long. <laughs> but you can yeah, get you guys it. need to buy some vowels. But, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Greeks have too many vowels, I think is the problem. Now, Harry, you have so much going on. Dine Out Vancouver starts. Uh, maybe you can tell us what you guys are doing. Someone yeah, lit the fuse and on Monday it goes boom. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, we've do we've decided to do something a bit different at sea this year and add a few more courses. So okay. rather than it just be the usual three courses that you, you get for dining out with your selection, we're we're going four courses and and a takeaway course too. And it's the same price, thirty eight dollars. And it's just what a deal. Yeah. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> what are we thinking? <laughs> it's like, wow, what am I doing? Who came up with that is what I, I wanna know. Anyway, and so that's and we did the same, a similar thing at New, where everybody starts off with homeless. There's an extra course that's that's built in there too. You have your selection, but you, it's it's more four courses. And at Rain City, we went 100 mile, uh, 100 mile dining. Make sure that it's all local and regional, oh, and and, nice. and really yeah. stick to what Rain City is about. So. Well, and especially, I mean, for all the restaurants. But uh, you know, I think this is such a great opportunity to do something like this for New to get people in there and, and really sort of sure. blow the roof off people's expectation of, of sort of. It's a, true. It's, you know, the location is good because in Greece, all, most of the restaurants. Are by the beach, yeah, and so we have water right there. Are we allowed to smash plates and stuff? <laughs> oh, and, and we're, we're planning. planning. That. I'm we're working planning. On it. Are you really? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on the list First of things to do. Okay, what if you finish this? Okay, software? go in there and smash. So. Plates. I uh, finished it off with some really, really good Greek olive oil. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And then some herb oil that we make just to add some extra flavor to it. And then a fig a fig vinegar where we infuse the fig flavor into the vinegar. And just stack it all nicely, make sure it's colorful. Beautiful. You get to see beautiful. some of the fig in the, in the oil. Well, and Thanks this so may much, not have been perfect, but it's the best that I could do. <laughs> it really I'm is. Sure it'll it'll do, do Eckford. Uh, for more information about Dine Out Vancouver, of course, you can go to the website. Uh, make sure that you make your reservations in advance because everywhere does yeah. sell out. We're going to take